Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. This week, the CARA Family Detention Pro Bono Project submitted a complaint to the Department of Homeland Security, Office of Civil Rights and Civil Liberties, and the Office of the Inspector General, highlighting eight specific cases of deep psychological trauma affecting mothers held in family detention centers. Here to discuss the complaint is Karen Lucas, Associate Director of Advocacy at AILA. Karen, thanks for joining me. Why did CARA submit the complaint? So through the work of the CARA Family Detention Pro Bono Project, which is representing mothers and children in detention in Texas, uh, we were increasingly troubled by the fact that when mothers were receiving negative determinations from the asylum office, it was often because they were still processing and still dealing with severe trauma symptoms from their persecution. Um, that really kept them from being able to articulate their full story um, right there um, in front of the asylum official very soon after they had been apprehended um, under the strain of detention um, and with all of these adverse factors, the re-traumatization of the detention environment, it was often very difficult for them to uh, tell their story. Um, and very often these were sexual uh, violence-based claims and domestic violence-based claims. Um, and so these were particularly difficult for uh, mothers who had perhaps never told um, anyone about some of these very difficult circumstances. And so we began taking declarations from the mothers and from some of the children about the trauma that they were still dealing with and still experiencing. Um, and asking them and getting them to talk about why it was they felt they weren't able to talk to the asylum officer and tell them the full story. Um, and then we brought in independent mental health professionals to evaluate the mothers and time after time um, these mental health professionals were diagnosing mothers with post-traumatic stress disorder, with anxiety, with depression, um, and sometimes even with cognitive disorders that at least in one case um, was actually so severe that she was um, unable to represent herself in immigration proceedings altogether. And so we filed this complaint with the Office for Civil Rights and Civil Liberties and the Office of the Inspector General for two purposes. One, to document that many of the detained families are in fact uh, suffering from severe uh, trauma uh, and often with diagnosed disorders um, and that this is an incredibly vulnerable population for whom detention is inappropriate. Um, but then also to um, document the fact that their trauma was actually impeding their access to the asylum protections that are available under U.S. law. What is CARA asking OCRCL and OIG to do? Well, we're asking CRCL and OIG to investigate the individual cases that make up the body of this complaint. Um, and in three of those cases, actually, families were wrongfully deported. Um, they, the trauma symptoms were so severe that they were unable to articulate their fear to an asylum official, and they were unable to get reconsideration um, as a matter of discretion from the asylum office, and then they were deported. Um, but we're also asking for CRCL and OIG to look into how much the expedited removal and the reinstatement of removal practices are impeding the access of traumatized mothers and children to the protections under U.S. law. Um, because it's clear from the independent mental health professionals' evaluations that there are diagnosed disorders here, but also that those disorders um, and the trauma that they were facing really did prevent the mothers in this setting, in this incredibly stressful setting, um, from being able to um, articulate the basis for their fear claims. Is there anything ALA members or the public can do to help? I think the best thing that we can do is to keep the pressure on to and family detention. Um, we're hoping that the administration will read this complaint um, and take it seriously and add it to the mountains of evidence that detention is um, a completely inappropriate setting for children and for asylum seekers 
um, especially when they are traumatized, um, and really for any vulnerable populations. Thanks, Karen, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.